Welcome, everybody, to another episode of the Salty Nerd Podcast. Introducing 2024 August Bites. I'm joined, as always, by Jude. Oh, hi. <laughs> Get to go first. Well, it's August Bites. It's like your month. You know what I mean? Hello. Hello. Can, can, we, can we get some background on August Bites and how that came about? Uh, your birthday month or birthday week. Oh, we no, were, no, no. You were right the first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it started out as like what? Jude's birthday week. And you were like, well, I want to do things that bite. And I'm like, why don't we just do things that bite for the entire well, it August? It started off, I think I just said I wanted to do vampire movies. And mm -hmm. then we kind of transitioned into other like shark movies sharks also. Things like, and then we were saying August Bites has kind of a, a nice little ring to right. it. And yeah. now we just do a whole month of things well, that I, bite we, in I, I, I think it started off by me telling the guys about how, you know, you have your birthday month, and so you got to pick all the movies for August. And then, <laughs> and they went, "What?" Yeah. <laughs> well, well, well like, oh, that, that, that happened one year, and then the guys were like, "Yeah, we're not doing that again." And uh, and so they they were like, and then they forgot about it for a year. <laughs> and, and, and they were like, "Well, we'll we'll let her pick the theme," and you were like, "August bites." Yeah, yeah. So like, we went back to everyone picking a bitey movie, I guess. Yeah, things that bite. So werewolves, sharks, vampires, snakes. Snakes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Dude, I'm so hyped for this month. I, I look forward to this every year. And yeah. Not just because my birthday is in August, but because we get to do like silly, like my my genre of movies. B movies, things that bite, yeah. vampires, sharks. Yeah. And we got yeah. Schwarzenegger September. Mm -hmm. And then Retro We Watch is always November. June Claude Van Damme. June Claude Van Damme. I love it when we have theme months. We need months. to have yeah. t-shirts and stuff for all of those theme months. I would love an August Bites theme shirt I, I need new shirts okay i'm running out of shirts i'm gonna come up but... with my own salty nerd boob tape <laughs> <laughs> for the ladies gotcha because honestly i'm feeling real free <laughs> <laughs> that that being said um this week <laughs> we taped an episode earlier and i i wore a dress that i had to use body tape for <clears throat> and then i went home and changed and now i'm still you know you look fine in the in you the tape fine. But it feels nice not to be wearing a bra. I bet. Yeah. I don't exactly know. My whole back is just like, whoo, freedom. Yeah. I, I, I support your freedom. Yeah. Freedom. Always. Rules. Freedom rules. Free the titties. All right. <laughs> um, this week, we're yeah, talking yeah. about escalation. <laughs> escalation of titties. <laughs> I feel like William Wallace in the back. There you go. <laughs> May the wings of liberty never lose a feather. I dig it. All right. That being said, no way, no way up. Well, aren't you going to introduce Mr. Butters and myself? No. <laughs> we don't matter. We it's don't Jude's matter. month. <laughs> also, my husband's here. Yeah, thank you. And yeah. my work husband. And yeah. <laughs> well, I feel privileged. What do I? What am I? <laughs> You're the host. <laughs> just You're the, the host. Just the, the host. dude. The host. <laughs> mm. You the abide. Du the dude abides. Yeah, the dude abide. abides. All right, no what, way up. What do you do here? The, uh, the I host don't exactly abide. know. A little bit of everything. I wrangle cats <laughs> and argue with the producer. Um, <laughs> it's actually very accurate. <laughs> I think he just likes to argue. So, yeah, yeah. No, guys, this will get more clicks. Yeah, but it's no, no, kind of no. shitty. No, it's, it's, it's not what we want. Yeah, well, but listen to me. like a million people are going to hate it. <laughs> You'll get even more right. hate watches. I don't, I don't, I don't want to read those comments. <laughs> anyway, I've said it again. No way up. The shark movie. Sharks on a plane. Sharks on a plane. Dude. Oh boy. What is in your hair? Do you have what? in your hair? Look down towards me. Oh. What is that? I don't know. Is that tape? Is it a Is shark? that boob tape? Did you get boob tape in your hair? <laughs> Plastic. Okay. I don't know where it came from. It was from that Peaky Blinder hat. Oh, oh maybe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we also took some promo shots earlier. Yeah. Cut. Um, all right, Jude. Yeah. If it's your month, take it away. No way up. No way up. Have at it. No way up. <laughs> Sharks on a plane. Rated R with a runtime of a nice crisp 91 minutes. Ooh, perfect. That was a, that's a nice spot. It's perfect. God, there I miss short no movies. There will be no financials on this movie. We're going to get right into it. They got cold meaty. Right. Yeah. Well, um, <laughs> uh, I, do I, they? I was going to say they have uh, Chief Miles O'Brien yeah. versus Sharks. Yeah. Briefly. For about Well, I don't need minutes. to do the synopsis now, I guess. Go ahead, shoot. No way up. The final destination demon is going out of its fucking mind with these people. First, they survive a plane crash. Then they survive being submerged in the ocean. Then a bunch of them survive multiple shark attacks. And then this final bitch survives holding her breath for about eight minutes and also drowning. 
Maybe the rescue helicopter will crash and get them eventually. Discuss. <laughs> God. Oh, the rescue helicopter. <laughs> this ass hat. All right. So, um, everyone on this plane sucks. <laughs> everybody in this movie sucks besides Cole Maid. Oh, the, the old dude was cool. He was. The, Oh, the old dad who died? Yeah. Immediately. Immediately. The, war, the, guy, cool. the guy with shrapnel in his ass. The old war yeah. veteran. Yeah, he was cool. Like a, I'm like a Forrest Gump Where'd type you get way. my husband's hat? Fuck, are you talking? Are you fucking kidding me, lady? <laughs> okay, we got to set that up. We got to yeah. set that up. Okay. So uh, there's the governor's or the senator's daughter, who is the, the main, the main governor character. I think it's the governor, yeah. Governor, oh, Gavin Newsom's daughter? Yeah. <laughs> God. Um, Who's apparently famous. Apparently, she has like a, a full time bodyguard. She's probably but got a really good Instagram account, <laughs> right? Maybe. I thought honestly, I thought like going into this, like her amount of security and the amount that her dad like doesn't let her do. President, anything. right? I thought she was going to be like some like rapper's daughter. Oh whoa! Yeah. Hmm. And then it turns out like he was like the governor. Oh, that's your dad over there on that banner. You're the you're the governor's daughter, huh? And I was She's like, the, oh, how do you I know dumb. that? How many governor's daughters do you know? That was the the present the the. Idea of this movie, they were like, "Yeah, we're gonna have the governor's daughter be super famous to the yeah. point where people recognize her just by looking." I at didn't her. have a hard time buying into that. You didn't? No, honestly. No, it, I mean, I mean, in this day and age, if you're if you're a hot and you're the daughter of the governor, and you were like big on like social media or whatever, or, mm -hmm. like easily could be a some kind of influencer star or something. And, really? And, and yes, I think you know the, the, they're not gonna have. You know, full on Secret Service details, but they're gonna have a guy, some old retired that dude. watches <laughs> over them. I had no problem. That's the one thing <laughs> in this entire movie that I didn't have any problem buying. You're gonna buy like, all, all that shit. I didn't buy. <laughs> it. It's the one thing I didn't have an issue with. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. also, she was known because her mother tragically died, right? And so everyone saw the news coverage. Mm. Might have had something to do. with Plus, it. Is her dad, the governor, is overprotective of her. Sure. It's like. I need to know where you are, what you're doing at all times because, you know. So she's planning a trip with a bunch of her goober friends and her boyfriend to go somewhere on vacation. To the They're going to Cabo. Cabo? Cabo? The plane Cabo. is going to Cabo. Right. And her dad hires or has hired Cole Meany, who has been with her since she was young. A yellow yeah, kid. Yeah, yeah. Right. So longtime bodyguard. He's like, hey, you need to go with her to Cabo. I mean, and Chief even O'Brien as, as your bodyguard? Sure, all right. All right. But even Chief O'Brien was like, she's like 20 years old. I don't want to go to Cabo with her. This is going to get weird. <laughs> We're going to go party. <laughs> well, his backstory was that he wasn't there when her mother drowned. And if he had been, she, she wouldn't have drowned. She'd still mm. be alive. But but he gives her, like, they have a moment at the airport where he basically says, like, look, you know, like, you know, uh, you're older. If you don't want me to come along, if you feel you can handle yourself, like, I'll I'll stay here. And he basically gives her the option, like, because like her friends were kind of giving her a hard time about having like a security guard or right. like a bodyguard with him, and uh, and she was like, you know, like if you had been there when my mom was in trouble, she'd still be here. So like, I want you with me. And so mm -hmm. he's like, okay, I'll, I'll come with you. Yeah. And our introduction to him is like him still having nightmares about the wife, her, our main character's daughter or mother dying, yeah. drowning. Uh, and I get a very like lethal weapon. Uh, like he lives in a trailer. Yeah, uh, yeah. In, 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 in the Hollywood Hills yeah. where the air is bad. You know. <laughs> uh, so they, the the story progresses. They decide, okay, we're all going to get on the plane. They all get on the plane. It's a very empty plane. Well, we yeah. have we have the introduction of all the little characters all in the, the airport side terminal. Right. Yeah. They're all yeah. going through security. Got the little, little girl, granddaughter, she the veteran. Her teddy. Yeah. I lost my Teddy. Oh, and oh. she runs into the governor's daughter. Yeah. Which, I don't even know her name. Do we know her name? No. Anyway, governor's, governor's daughter. daughter. Uh, and this little girl runs into her and she's, on the search for her teddy bear. Yeah, she's kind of a bitch. And she's kind of a bitch to her. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you ruined my shawl. She like spills man. coffee on her. Who the fuck wears a shawl? Yeah. <laughs> a white one? It's yeah. 90 degrees outside. Yeah. I got a sweater on. It's yeah. Like, okay. So she she feels bad. Ava is the governor. Ava. Daughter. She feels bad for doing that. So she she remembers that she saw a teddy bear on the floor yeah. while she was walking to the terminal. So she goes back and she gets the teddy bear and she brings it to the girl. And she's like, I'm sorry, I was a dick. I, Here's your teddy bear. I, I can relate to that. Sure, yeah, I get it. You know, your knee jerk guess, reaction guess, is like, I, ah. I, can, I can be a dick. And then I go, <laughs> uh, I was kind of a dick. <laughs> like, yeah, I better make up for that. Mm. So yeah, I, I get that. Yeah. I get that. Again, the second thing that I found believable in this movie. I think and he's going to like this and movie. He's apologized to me like and, three times and I, already And today. I think that's about it. I think that's about the only believable, the only two believable things I'm getting from this. We movie. get on the plane. 
Uh-huh. We're flying. <sighs> we're cruising, you know. And Ava's like, why is this plane so empty? Right. <laughs> yeah, after uh, one of her friends uh, makes fun of the uh, steward, Kyle, steward of course for being gay. Kyle, fucking Kyle. Listen, he's Kyle? Like, talking about closet homo guy? Yes, yes. closet homo Kyle. Yeah, Kyle's he's, like, he sees an attractive God. flight attendant who is also a dude. He's he like, decides, I want to fuck that guy. Want- so therefore... I have to like make homophobic jokes, um, homophobic? homophobic, homophobic jokes about him for the entire flight. Yeah, to be an absolute ass. I bet he yeah. sucks on that straw really good. Yeah, I bet you used saying. to be it on your knees. It's yeah. like, bro, don't try so hard. Yeah. Hey, you, you know, what's funny is that Kyle guy. Uh, he's in Attenborough. I saw that in the in the yeah. credits. Yeah, so, so he's like Hollywood royalty. Oh, How God. dare an Attenborough be in such a I shitty bet ass movie? I those his own jokes. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, let me write my let own me ad lib. One time I said this on a plane. Can we work that in? Let me uh, ad lib this one. Well, it was Sir Richard Attenborough's, um, was it, uh, nephew, I believe. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Whoa, that's wild. And, and of course, Six Degrees of Jurassic Park. You know, he was in yeah. the original Jurassic Park. Yes. That's amazing. Well, this show, this movie has connections to Jurassic Park. I guess so. Love it. Uh, anyway, yeah, Kyle's a dick, and not in a good way. Um, is there ever a good way to be a dick? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Move on. Is there a good way to be a what? A dick. dick. You got to say it with a little bit of a hook. You be a pole. Like a hawk. Dick. Dick. <laughs> dick. <laughs> anyway, well, he's being a real... Dick. Spit on that thing. Spit on that thing. He's being a real dick to the, uh, to the flight attendant guy who's just minding his own business. He obviously hates his job. Um, you know, we get to see the characters kind of floating around in the plane. They're just like, yeah, looking out the window. Oh, this is all cool. And then all of a sudden, the friggin' engine just starts to disintegrate. Well, no, 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 bird, no, no. Bird bird it, ah, it I don't believe it. Bursts into flame. Yeah. And the little girl is the first one to clock. She's, she's looking she's out the like, window like, Nana, is that all right? <laughs> <laughs> and Nana's like, oh shit. <laughs> so the 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 debris from the breaking apart engine. Slices into the uh, the centrifuge, not centrifuge. What is it called? Centrifuge. Is it called a centrifuge? centrifuge. Uh, the plane. The plane. the plane. the plane. The tube slices into the plane. The paper thin tin that the planes are actually made of. That's real. In real life. It's like it rips open a back. section of it. Everybody gets sucked out. This part of the scene I thought was pretty well done. Like I loved it, it. Yeah, the plane crash element of it was like, oh, mm-hmm. this is actually pretty scary. It's pretty well shot. It's got decent CGI. Well, right. they, they, they blew their this... budget on that because they certainly didn't blow their budget on sharks. No. I saw <laughs> okay. this actually happen on a video someone posted on TikTok. I of, saw that one. Yeah. Yeah. Of the, of the hole in the fucking flight. Oh, last year when yeah. the window fell out? Yeah. Like a couple months ago. It wasn't last year. Uh, yeah. There, yeah. There's a lot of that's happening. You guys know that, that like, our, our air fleets are falling apart. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because Boeing doesn't want to pay to fix them up. It's, it's ridiculous. So do not fly right now. Just yeah, don't. no, don't fly. <laughs> the, the computer systems are crashing. The airplanes are falling apart. Just drive. Just fucking drive. Just drive. Um, <laughs> that's your salty nerd. More you know. <laughs> segment. Um, so they, this, is, this is when the show get, becomes unbelievable. The movie is when the plane actually crashes. Now. Okay, you got to suspend your disbelief. You just got to enjoy your show, right? <laughs> yeah, it's the, a movie about a shark on a plane. Right, you just got to just, whatever like, idea of what you have as what a plane does when it hits the ground like at like 600 miles an hour. it's like a lot of sharks on a plane. It's just <laughs> like, the plane falls into the water, mm-hmm. has no, it goes, yeah, <laughs> no damage whatsoever, lands nice and, and soft. And then it just like kind of goes down like And then an it elevator. just kind of sinks. <laughs> And you're like, but this plane would be in pieces, right? Then, and everybody would be dead. But then it lands on a rock and it just kind of goes like this. Yeah, yeah. there's apparently a reef. Well, a it, shelf. It, it goes, it, it does the Titanic thing. It goes, it goes, yeah. And then it sinks. Lands on thing and then it slides. And it slides down. It slides. And it's, it's sliding towards this like bottomless. And it's at an angle. So, so like the air where, where, where there. there's air pocket there. Right. Which is, I don't, I think it's bullshit. But you know. <laughs> oh, you think? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, just just the water weight alone would have crushed that damaged fuselage. Yeah. Fuselage. That's what I was trying to come up with. Not centrifuge. Fuselage. Um, that's when the movie actually starts. And that's when things get stupid. stupid. <laughs> it's so fucking fun. So fun. <laughs> really? Yeah. And this is about, what, 30 minutes in? Yeah. 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 I had a blast with this movie, guys. I'm not going to lie. I, I had a lot I of fun. I am shocked. Dude, I was in bed with the covers, like, just up. On, I was on my side like this, and you started texting me, and I was like, oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, our text messages were probably funnier than the movie. Yeah. Basically, what it boiled down to was, is the only survivors of the plane 
stuck in the air pocket are the six people that we met in the airport. Yeah. Oh wow! Right, six and worst and and the six in the airport, and it, it's just this mishmash of socially diverse characters <laughs> that nobody gives a fuck about mm -hmm. and the and the gay stewards this guy so and, and, and you know I, you know who's gonna live yeah and die at the end you well, can tell that listen, right, from the beginning listen and it's just nana the, the, the best part was Cole Meany going hey man have I been in this movie long enough to get my paycheck? <laughs> and, they, and they go, yeah. It's like, okay, make that fucking shark eat my ass. Let's go. I'm yeah, they, 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 they eat Lucy Miles O'Brien. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's like, yeah it's of course like, they do. Here's your thing. I'm going to die now. Ugh. And he gets pulled back <laughs> gets into the water. Into and the that's thing. the end of Chief O'Brien. Yeah. And I'm like, fuck this movie. Did you not see that coming? As oh, soon as I saw Cole Meany, I'm like, he's going to be the first to die. Yeah. Can we talk about how the shark waited for Cole Meany to, to finish his, his sentence? Dude, so I got I got my text messages with you pulled up right now. <laughs> I have them too. The first thing I said to her was, "That was a pretty incredible plane crash for a low budget movie." Uh huh. Right. And you were like, "I hate this Kyle kid. I wish he would die already." <laughs> <laughs> That's the first. Thing. Shut the fuck up, Kyle. Was the next text <laughs> but yeah, like Cole Meany's, like just. I knew that was happening. I knew what to expect. So, so I wasn't. He swims down to like get something to help them survive. Right. He gets the old. There's an oxygen gets, tank. Yeah. He gets uh, Nana's husband's hat. Mm -hmm. And while he's down there, a shark attacks him. So he comes oh, up. Uh, keep in mind that he had gotten stabbed in the heart with a piece of metal. Metal. Yes. Yeah. He was impaled. Yeah. So he has shrapnel in him from the crash. Right. He swims down. And then he gets a shark attack. And then he comes up and he delivers this speech about how Ava can get through this and yeah. she is a survivor. And also, you guys all need to just wait to get uh, rescued because it's probably Fine. the most likely of things to happen. <laughs> and then the shark is like, you done? All right, cool. And then just <laughs> like yeah, that. Just, that's <laughs> exactly what happened. But, but right before that, so the, they Except had this little... You, you don't even see the shark, though. No, no you don't see the shark no. at all. Like, they didn't have a budget for a shark. There's they, no, had, they had a puppet there's, with there's teeth. There's no sharks in the shark on a plane. Eh, there were some sharks. Yeah. Well, well it, it's funny, because as he's, like, swimming back up with the uh, oxygen tank, he stops and he kind of, like, looks out the, the big hole in, in the plane mm -hmm. just to make sure there are no sharks. And then the minute he starts swimming, the shark just comes out of nowhere. He's just like, ah! Gotcha, bitch! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker! <laughs> um... But the this thing about the hat was hilarious because the the woman the Nana who was the star of the fucking movie if you ask mm -hmm. me okay mm -hmm. Nana's the goat pretty much um, she, she had swam her, for her country she had her husband <laughs> uh, with them when they first landed but he died in the crash and he there was this like moment of like oh this is my lucky hat and blah 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 yeah I wouldn't, I wouldn't have security, met your mother you have to, he has to take off his hat yeah, put yeah. It in the bin and all that shit. And so they're telling the granddaughter about the story about the hat, the story about how they right? met. So yeah. Nana, when Cole Meany is going to go down and get the oxygen tank, she's like, would you get my husband's hat for me? <laughs> and he's like, are you fucking kidding me, woman? <laughs> like, I was like, that's that's an accurate <laughs> statement. <laughs> so for sure. That, that was it. the most realistic thing in this entire movie. I said yeah. that yeah. out loud right before Cole Meany said it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She basically said the exact same words. Would you bring up my husband's cap if you find it down there? You for fucking real, lady? And he sure did get it, didn't he? He got it. He, he got, got the hat because he because he was down there holding his breath for forty five minutes, and he was like, blah, 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 and he picks up the hat, <laughs> and swims it back. That would up. be a nice thing I do for this lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was so ridiculous. Anyway, yeah, the, Col the, the minute Cole Meany died, I was out of the movie. Yeah, I think I was, for the rest of like, the movie, he was like, Mur. yeah, I, I was like, he's the only reason I'm watching this movie. Yeah, to begin with. Um, the the other text message I sent to Jude was like Cole Meany is apparently a record champion underwater breather holder. Yeah, everybody was. <laughs> everybody was. Yeah. I don't know how deep this freaking plane crash was, but they were they were down there. I mean, you couldn't see it from the helicopter. Yeah. And yet they still sent divers down to look for it because I don't know, is that a thing? And also the te yeah. the temperature of the water at those depths is like very frigid. cold. Frigid. Oh, yeah. How the, how deep do you think they were down there? About 100 feet? More than that. Yeah, more, than, more that. than that. Way yeah. more than that. Yeah. 150 maybe? I don't know. Um, Half a mile? Half a mile? <laughs> no, I don't know. Exactly. I could swim that in 10 seconds flat. Yeah. As a free diver, I could say that water does get cold around 20 feet. You yeah. get to that You get to that sun layer where the sun no Look, longer penetrates when, when, and then you when, get down When farther. I free dive, I get cold at about 8 feet. <laughs> you free dive? <laughs> yeah, all the time. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Spearfish. You do it's fantastic. Speak. It's the best best thing in the world. It's way better than real fishing. I go out to 
Corpse Creek out there, Lake Mead. <laughs> Put under spear anyway, some, some barrels. Yes, the water would be cold. However, they were in the tropics. So I'm like, okay, yeah, it'll be cold, but it's not going to be like, like Titanic cold. Fair. They're down there. This the one thing that I really took away from this movie was the 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 chick was like, I think they're they're in an air pocket mm-hmm. and there's like six people and they're all breathing. They're gonna run out of air very quickly. Mm-hmm. And she's like, I think we should wait until somebody comes and rescues us. And I'm like, you bitch, what? Yeah. Uh, no, I'm gonna open that freaking escape hatch. Do you know how many I'm times I said I here. choose death through this whole movie? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, there is no scenario whatsoever where I'm not trying to swim to the surface. Like they're they're deep, but they're not that deep. Also, if they're gonna go underwater, there was there's a scene later on where the plane starts to slide farther and farther down the thing. Yeah, it's getting worse for you guys. Yeah, yeah there's there's always a chasm. Well, I'm glad that they put a timer on the on the movie. Right? They were like, okay, look, there's the clicking time. Like we have. That's almost in real time once they get in water, right? I would say so. Yeah. Yeah. And they're uh, they're sliding towards this precipice and the movie is trying to tell them like, okay, you're going to die if mm-hmm. you don't get out of here by this time. I like that they put so a little bit of a The moral of the it. story is that Colmini was wrong. Yeah, Colmini was not Don't wait. Get the oh. fuck out of the airplane. Yeah. Um, but they go through a series of bullshit uh, side quests to go get like sure. jackets and oxygen tanks and they're A lot, happen- of, lot of MacGuffins. They there, there's there's a, lot of, a bunch of divers that were getting on the plane when they yeah, were getting on the plane. Right. Of and they had a bunch of gear but mm-hmm. you have to fly with empty tanks so they were like, well, we could just get their suits and then right. protect us while we're swimming. And then bubbles, we learned that. Bubbles are the key. Bubbles, why, are, the bubbles key. are the key. Why isn't there a balloon elevated shark cage in, in the Because <laughs> it's a small airplane. <laughs> but I, you know what? The more I, When I first watched the movie and they were like, oh, yeah, there's a bunch of scuba divers on this and we can go get their goggles and their gear. And I'm like, what? Yeah, the Shut the out. fuck yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. But now I think about it, they're going to Cabo. Yeah. yeah. It's a huge snorkeling and like. It's the Caribbean. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. I think gear. that's probably pretty legit. There sure. would be I'm a couple so, of scuba so divers. I'm glad you're making excuses for this. I think it's real. Okay. If I'm going to go All down, right. if I'm going to go snorkeling in the Caribbean, I'm bringing my shit. I have yeah. a friend who is like a fucking diver mm-hmm. and she goes on these vacations and she has her own gear and mm-hmm. she travels with it. Cool. You, you know what, what she doesn't travel with is an, a squid in the cargo hold <laughs> that will just randomly attack you as you're searching for that gear. <laughs> yeah, wait, hold on. What? Octopus. Did I miss something? The octopus. You didn't the see the octopus? The octopus was very scary. <laughs> and that is a Goonies reference. <laughs> yeah, no, when, I missed when, the, when the When the governor's daughter w- went into the cargo hold to get like the, bought the wetsuits and stuff like that. Yeah. She was going through all the luggage and the octopus came out and was like, rah! It was on the plane? It was in the cargo hold. Was it from the ocean or did somebody pack an octopus? <laughs> it, it was never established. <laughs> like, was there somebody? <laughs> was is, it a, is my octopus okay in the cargo hold? Was it just in somebody's luggage? <laughs> no, it was just hanging Thank out. Thank God there. they crashed into the ocean when the tank exploded. <laughs> it would have died otherwise. I don't know. <laughs> I missed it. So <laughs> Okay. Um, but yeah, the, the, like this movie is so it's full of like fun, little quirky moments and just absolute stupidity and dickhead characters. Yeah. And yeah. I, I didn't like anybody in the movie All except the things for things that make a perfect movie. Except for <laughs> Nana. Nana was the only one I was rooting for. I didn't even like her. You didn't like her? Yeah, she was oh, she was fucking awesome. She's like, eh. oh, I'm a nurse on the uh, frontline nurse for the army. And oh, I swam for my country. I didn't, I didn't like anybody in this movie. No. I didn't like the stupid little kid. Oh, the kid was. That would have been, you would have been cool. The kid would have been like shark bait. That would have been, I was. That would have been awesome. Honestly, when she was like stand outside this curtain, I was like, it oh died, shit, dead. are they going to kill thought, the kid? I thought they were going to kill the kid. Yeah. I like, totally did. It's like, you know, for a shark's on a plane movie. The sharks sucked. There was, mm. There's no sharks in this thing. There's sharks? There, well, there's the one shark at the end who just kind of swims up to the main character and goes, hey, okay, you're cool, and swims <laughs> off up into the back of the pit. Can we talk about the it divers, just, the rescue divers? Oh, these poor bastards. Oh, they're, oh they're fuck. Stupid. Thank you. Yeah, you're so, welcome. The ones in the, oh, ones i got to talk about the helicopter pilot, too. Yeah. Hey, man, there's so, a <laughs> there's a thing down there. Maybe this is the spot. Do you want to check? Okay, Elvis cool. is flying helicopter. <laughs> hey, man. Honestly, the most, out, un- man. The most <laughs> unrealistic thing in this whole movie Dude. is the conversation that the two helicopter like we, pilots bro, are having. We, we really got to go. <laughs> this fucking helicopter pilot rolls out there, right? And they're looking for, for uh, damage, fuselage, and, yeah. and like parts of the plane and shit like that. And he's looking at his freaking... And they're all like... You know the governor's daughter, huh? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. It's a shame. Hopefully we find her. Hopefully, yeah. Because yeah. she's really important. Because we can all know the governor's daughter. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
but the, like the fuel gauge on the helicopter is like down to like one notch, right? Yeah. He's like, well, we got about 15 minutes. Get down in that water and see what you can find. I'm like. And the divers are like, we can do it, boss. Yeah. And then the, the helicopter, like the divers go down, right? And they go down there and they, they find the plane. And they're like, yeah. oh, fuck, there's the plane. Mm -hmm. So the diver comes up to the window. And he's like. <laughs> 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 and, and they're all like, turn around. There's a fucking shark behind you. And he's like, he, he goes. What? <laughs> <laughs> he literally he goes, They're like, there's a shark! <laughs> right fucking behind you. <laughs> what? And he gets there's, his ass there's in. A, there's a shark! <laughs> <laughs> like, then, there's, then there's a bloody I don't leg. Know what you're saying. Yeah. There's a bloody, Blood, leg. bloody stump they bought at Spirit <laughs> Halloween store. Just float the, the, the water. guy, the diver just goes down, and then you just see like a hand. Just a hand on the window. On the window. Uh, oh my God, the drama. The drama was guy. so perfect. He was like, I'm going to die, but I'm going to make sure that you feel it. <laughs> <laughs> But the crazy thing is there were two divers. There was two, two divers. And they yeah. both got you. And they were like, what happened to the other diver? Uh, they were like, so the I don't didn't know. have the budget for the second so one. So back up on the surface, the helicopter pilot's like, well, shit, we're out of gas. <laughs> yeah. We better get out of here. Better get out of I'm here. Like, we'll send another copter that'll be here in two hours. You fucking prick. You knew you were out of gas. You set your guys down there anyway. But and then they you told them, left. They them. told them And you waited minutes. until you had to leave before you called another chopper in. What a dick. <laughs> Not I mean, they found way. the debris field. Have there should have been like boat boats day. and all kinds of stuff heading in that direction. Yeah, yeah. Already. This they should have called them. They should have called them in. This is where it's at. They didn't call them in. No, it was right. Debris. We found debris. It's in the area. Um, I didn't vote for that governor anyway. What happened to Kyle? Kyle got his leg bit off, right? No, no, no. That no, was no, his no, That friend. was the boyfriend. Oh, okay. Kyle got the broken arm. Oh, that's right. And then as they were trying to make their final escape, Kyle was like, I don't think I could do this. Uh, and we were all like, yeah, you yeah, should probably die on and, this plane. And then a shark teleported past the good characters yeah. and <laughs> ate him. Yeah. Good. As mm -hmm. they were wait, they like all like go to like, we were, the, I don't know. They're going to fucking share an oxygen tank <laughs> and meet up. Also, and then they're like waiting for Kyle, and then somebody else comes in. They're like it, it, underwater because they're it, like it, just, it was the gay guy, it was the steward. Oh, the, the steward, the whatever the fuck. The flight attendant. They're like we're. <laughs> <laughs> and the flight attendant's like. <laughs> 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 and Kyle just kind of like swam backwards and was just like, I can't do this. Yeah. And then he gets like. Well, the plane falls in the precipice. Ported. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, before the plane falls, basically. So there was a shark inside the plane that somehow teleported past the governor's daughter and the little girl. Mm -hmm. Well, they went and, up and, and they had their moment. And then uh, ate Kyle. Yeah. Good. And then just disappeared into the back of the plane. Just stayed yeah, in there. Yeah, don't sure. Matter. Yeah. Maybe just went chilling. out through the cargo hold. <laughs> and, 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 and for like, like ever since like Cole Meany basically got dragged back into the plane, like I turned to Jude, I was like, can sharks swim backwards? No, no. they cannot. I was like, nope. No, that was actually a key moment in Deep Blue Sea when they were like, sharks can't swim backwards. And I, that's when in fact, I learned they have that. to keep moving. But they what I stop. did not learn in Deep Blue Sea <laughs> was about the bubbles. Yeah. <laughs> I made Kadish look it up. I was like, is that I, a thing? I think it is a thing. It, a it, thing? it, it is. Um, but like, the funny thing is, is like, so the first time they use the bubble strategy, the shark is coming towards them in the plane. And they whip out the bubbles, and the bubbles go in front of them. So they have and, their, and, um, their life uh, vests from underneath the seats. Yeah. But uh, as the bubbles dissipate, the shark's gone. And so they're like, oh, well, we scared off the shark. It didn't swim backwards or anything. Uh -huh. It just jumped over them, apparently. Uh, and then, like, went into the back and ate Kyle. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Kyle deserved to be eaten. Honestly, that's how you survive. Yeah. Uh, I was under, always under the impression, and I've watched a lot of shark documentaries, that if you make a bunch of bubbles and a bunch of noise, it actually attracts the shark. I thought the same thing, but Google says different. But maybe Google wants us all to die. Well, by if you want <laughs> to attract know. the shark with noise, you have to be a seal. And you have to be like swimming along the top of the thing so you can get the breach thing. To right, yeah. Oh no, I've read all of the Meg books. Do you watch Shark Week? Yeah. Yeah. And they always Everything say, I know about sharks, I'd learned from sharks. Same. And, I feel and like I'm pretty every sure. Every human being who has a period has watched Shark Week and has been like, what do I need to know about being in the ocean? <laughs> we need to not be in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> I watched During it. that time of your life. Throw <laughs> me into outer space before I will ever get into the ocean. The ocean <laughs> is terrifying. There are things down there I don't need to know about. 
That's what my wife said. I don't there's, want it. There's a lot I of stuff in the ocean that we don't know about, and it's kind of fascinating. I choose yeah. death by almost any other way. I would have gone down with the plane. I don't like deep water. I don't like heights. <laughs> just I, want to stay flat on the I ground. just... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I had a blast with this movie. Is it good? Fuck no. Hell no. It's not good at but all. But is it great? But it's fun. Yeah. I did not have a blast with this you didn't, movie. Well, it says you were mad because you had to download was, it on Apple. I was not iTunes. mad. I just... Uh, I just didn't think it was a good I've, movie. I've, I I've threw it on on my. I do. This is what I did. Ready? Wait, I rented it. Wait, we forgot to talk about the floating foot. We talked about that. Yeah, we did. We talked it's about from, the handprint. Yeah. We, no, Katie just mentioned the floating oh, foot. Yeah, and I said it was. No, and you said it was a spirit, Halloween spirit store. Halloween. Yeah, spirit Halloween store floating foot prop. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I mean, um, the, we I, we could talk about you know if you want to talk about gory stuff, the hilarious stump off of the one dude that got his leg bitten. Off. Yeah, that was good. That was pretty. Funny. It was very plastic. How bad is it? <laughs> oh, honey, you lost your leg. Yeah. He's like, <gasps> Such and then he dies. Fantastic. He dies from shock, right? Yeah, yeah he yeah. needed to die. Great actor. Oh, I was sure. like, he's not getting out of here. They, we need to leave him behind. The acting was spot on. He deserves an Oscar. <laughs> he deserves some kind of award <laughs> for that yeah, amazing man. job. It was great. It was great. I like Nana. Nana's my team favorite over here. Mm -hmm. I, I was actually kind of... Sacrificed herself. pretty upset that she did that. Mm -hmm. I would have been like, freaking this freaking governor's chick. I need to be with my granddaughter. And like, I would have went with her. I wonder if she adopted the girl. Oh, wait, no, the girl has parents back home. Yeah, she does. Yeah. yeah. So, you know. Anyway. Um, bad movie, great time. Yeah. How about just bad movie? Sure. Dutch. Um. <laughs> you know, I had a great time during this movie. I, I was even, having a blast. Fine. I was fucking terrified <laughs> the entire time because I, I just find the ocean very scary. And then we got done and Cage went, that was lame. <laughs> and I was like, oh. I was like, you are a sourpuss. <laughs> I was texting Jude almost the whole time. She had to tell me. She's like, okay, it's like 1130. I'm going to yeah, go to I bed like, now. I was like, I'm actually in bed. <laughs> no, what, what, what's funny is whenever Jude watches like shark movies, like she always gets freaked out by the sharks. They're very scary. But, but in this movie, the sharks didn't freak her out. It was when the plane started like almost yeah. Going deeper into the water. That was like, much scarier. Because there's more shit down there you don't even know there's about. There's aliens down there. Yeah, but every, every time the, the plane just started sliding down that reef, uh, she was just like, she was making noise. It's very scary. <laughs> very scary place. <laughs> uh, I'm going to, I think I gave it a 20% on Criticless. 20% is bogus. What? I didn't say, uh, it's not fair. a good movie, but I will put in the comments of that review that you should go and watch it. Yeah. Because why wouldn't you? Is is there not a worth a watch on Critic List? Uh, like a like a, a like a bar that you yeah. can no, it's just like good. It's it's bad, bogus, heinous, great, and whatever that you know, whatever the other ones are. But this is not a good movie in any way, shape, or form. It's poorly acted. The 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 I'm sorry, but the the dialogue is just atrocious and the uh the acting is not great like everything's kind of like blech and the, the the effects are okay sometimes but like really bad other times but honestly i still had a freaking great time watching it that's that's all it is to it i had a great time watching it so i'm gonna give it a it's a bogus rating but worth a watch you are so confusing i know jude how about you i had a great time and so this is like one of the, this is a movie in the genre of the movies that created me. Mm -hmm. Like this is so like if USA Up All Night and Rhonda Shear and Elvira and Gilbert Godfrey, if they were all still like airing their like late night movies, this would have been in their repertoire. Sure. Uh, I think it was perfect. It was a perfect B movie that was made in current day. Mm -hmm. So, um, for me, this was just like exactly what I wanted. I wanted a cheesy shark movie that I was going to have a great time and it was going to scare me. Then and it, it was like four sharks out of 50 million sharks for me because there were there were that many sharks in my brain for me. Hmm. How many sharks did you give it? I gave it four. Four. Four out of 50 million. That's really low. <laughs> you know what I mean. Katie, okay, show you. Uh, this movie was lame. <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, You're it, such a bummer to watch movies with. Uh, it should have ended after Colmini died. And uh, I, agree. I will stick with that. So, yeah. Af after Colmini died, there was no reason to watch this movie. Agreed. Uh, You're crazy. One star out of... <gasps> one star crap fest. One star crap fest. So one star crap fest for you too? Oh, yeah. 100%. Whoa. Yeah, this is trash. <laughs> <laughs> I, I never want to see this movie again. I like I like to have a little bit of a shark in my shark movies. There were sharks? I, I, I don't need the... Uh, 
human drama of the racially diverse cast of nonsensity. <laughs> and the gay guy. And the gay dude. The gay, gay closeted just like, guy. Just, the old dude, the little girl. Like, like, and, you know, <laughs> the one white dude's a complete total dude, ass hat and you, he's a closet do you, homo. Do you I, I, don't, I don't need this stuff. It's just, it's just. No. Do you remember uh, I made you guys watch Sex Drive? Yeah. And how the older brother was like, what do you know about cock? You really love cock, huh? You love it if you just slapped you in the face with a big veiny cock. And then he ended up being gay at the end of the movie. That's Kyle in this movie. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. All right, guys, that's it for no way up introducing 2024's August bites next week is what are we doing next uh, week Jude? looking it up right now anaconda anaconda don't want none unless you got <laughs> <laughs> anaconda J-Lo John Voight yes other people I, ice, cube, ice cube ice cube giant snakes some girl that used to host something on MTV one of their shows perfect yeah yeah I've um is Carrie L's in this I think I've seen this movie once a long time ago. What? Yeah, long time ago. I can't remember the entire thing. So I'm walking in pretty much fresh with this one, which will be fun. So excited. So tune in next week, guys. We're talking. We watch it together. Yeah. All right. Yeah. If you don't want to sit with poo poo pants over here, I don't want to sit with poo poo pants. <laughs> I'll watch it. <laughs> you gotta come to my house though, because I got a bigger TV. That's fine. Okay. I'll sit in your garage. <laughs> no, no, not the garage. I got rid of that stuff. No, the living room. I got the nice big 75 inch. We'll watch Anaconda. Okay. Watch it with the. Hang on. Let me look. Uh, Jennifer Lopez, John Voight. Oh, Eric Stoltz is in this. <laughs> the original Marty McFly. Oh, oh Owen really? Wilson. Owen Wilson's Wilson Wilson is in, in the movie? In this. Yeah. No. Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, Jonathan Hyde. Uh, yeah. Stacked cast. J Danny Trejo is in this. Danny Trejo's in the Anaconda too? Oh, man. I, yeah, I feel like I've never seen this movie before. I didn't know any of that. Look so at her. Excited. You got to put the camera on her. She's so <laughs> excited. All right, guys. August Bites is starting out with a bang. We'll be back with Anaconda next week. Dog Soldiers the week after that. I think so. And then Annabelle? Or what's that movie called with the, the kid vampire? Yeah, Annabelle. 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 Yeah. And maybe we'll sneak something else in there, too. Uh, oh, I want to see Romulus, too. Alien Romulus, which is coming up. Yeah. So we might do like a separate special show for our Patreon members or something. We'll cool. see. Anyway. All right, folks. Thanks maybe so much. Maybe you could do one of those... Uh, live watches from the theater like yeah, just kind of live movie. stream it <laughs> <laughs> hey guys i'm watching Wolf. i'm watching the freaking romulus movie all right <laughs> face huggers oh shit uh, <laughs> it looks good though the trailers look great all right guys that's it for the podcast today thank you guys so much for your support comment below your favorite shark movie or and or bite movie something that bites just give us ideas come on yeah what you got what you got all right folks stay tuned see you next week stay soft